guys, it is me, Lifesimmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Showtime. So before we get into the gameplay, I thought I would insert some clips of the girls' first ever private venue performances. Alrighty guys, and here we are with the actual gameplay. Um, so yeah, uh, the girls had their very first private venue performances. Um, they didn't do that great actually. Yes, apparently the show was not that amazing, but that's okay. Sadie's looking like a little hoe over here in her little Katy Perry sweet treats. Oh, oops. Oh, I didn't mean for my butt to show, but it did. Mm-hmm. Anyways, guys, oh, and try to sleep. It's 4 p.m., buddy. Wake up. It is a very, very, very rainy day here in Starlight Shores, but it is a Wednesday, which means tomorrow is Love Day, which means it's a holiday, which means we have nothing to do. So, with that being said, I definitely want to uh, get the Sims out and um, get them to go out tonight. Um, so let's go ahead and get them in some normal outfits. Uh, let's have Mariah go ahead and change into her everyday wear. And Sadie, change into your everyday wear. Naomi, relax. Na Naomi, relax. Um, and I think Naomi, enter stage name before, no, no, didn't mean to do that. Um, and Naomi's actually going to stay in tonight. And work on her athletic skill. Now you guys are probably wondering, well, why? That's not fair. Well, Naomi's going to be literally royalty. She's going to be that duchess because she's going to be the one that lets us move. Um, she's going to make that simoleons that we need. Uh, so, yeah. Because pretty much once uh, she reaches, you know, level 10 of her career, which is a level 9 right now, we will get 30,000 lifetime reward points, which will... Give us enough lifetime reward points to unlock um, the genie. So you definitely want to... Oh, look, he's thinking about Mariah. He's like, oh, Mariah, the things I would do to you. Anyways, what is this? A singogram? <gasps> Wait, that's a performance. Oh, are you kidding me? I totally did not know that Naomi had a performance. We're going to go with the same exact theme that we did the other night. I'm actually going to go ahead and skip it. Um over it and i will get back to you guys right after the show we've only seen these performances 110 times and because i'm using the same gig venue um look i'm not going to show it to you guys because it's the same exact thing um so with that being said i will go ahead and get back to you guys right after naomi's uh performance Alrighty, Alrighty guys and naomi's performance is now over did not do good <laughs> down and out but I thought I would go ahead and show you guys uh, Mariah's new songs because she did actually level up uh, off camera. So she is now a level eight. She is a star. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys Mariah's new songs. And the one she's about to sing right now is Wig Wig Wag. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up and you guys can go ahead and listen. Okay, so apparently we should probably go inside and sing this, um, because the Thunder Lords are just not having it or something, so... Go ahead and have her go perform this inside. I'll have her perform it upstairs. Because they're just not having it. Mercedes. Look at her. Look at Sadie. I honestly feel like she kind of. She's going to age ugly. Here's Naomi being super cute in her little... Go turn off lights. Naomi, go somewhere. Go upstairs, Naomi, and actually play some pool. Alright, so here's Mariah now. 
Um, so like I was saying, let's go ahead and listen to, uh, let's see, she, I think she has two new songs. She has Wig Wig Wag, and I think that's it. Alrighty, yeah, so it's just Wig Wig Wag. So let's go ahead and listen once again to Wig Wig Wag. So that performance was, you know, she ended up back outside for some somehow, but you know, that's okay. Anyways, so Sadie was being like incredibly rude to Trey, so I went over here and put her in her place by criticizing her. Pretty family. much just told her that her mom looks like a fucking demon, and that's why she looks like Chucky. <gasps> Whoopsie doodles. Somebody in this group has some unresolved issues. I think I'll be getting out of here before the fighting starts. She's like. <gasps> I do not look like Chucky. I got my face done. Oh, look. She's, like, so offended. Oh, my gosh. This is actually the perfect time. Mariah, come over here. She has this. And she's going to throw it at Sadie. Sadie, enough with your little BS. Flick my hair. Flick my shoulders. Ma. I get him. He's like, don't let her win this fight, man. Alrighty. So, we're going to come over here and... Be the demons that we are. All right, now Sadie will behave like somebody completely different. Maybe they can be friends now. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's what it said. Now, did it change your traits? Oh my goodness, Vertuso. She wasn't Vertuso before. I'm pretty sure she was. If not, that's hilarious. Vertuso dislikes children, evil, coward, and friendly. Evil and friendly. How does that go together? Oh, she's asking us how our day is. You have a bald spot, Sadie. Nice bald spot, Sadie. She's like, we can totally be friends now, Mariah. Look, they're friends. They're friends. O.M. Jizzle. All right, let's see. What's Naomi doing? She's like, well, I have no friends, so I'm going to go ahead and leave now. Oh, her and Sadie aren't best friends anymore. Poor Naomi. She's such like a loner. I have to get her some friends. Seriously. I feel so bad. Look, now they're friends and Naomi's not. Look. Look at Naomi. She's like so upset because now she has like no friends. We definitely have to get her some friends. Look, she has nobody to hang out with on a freaking, you know, Thursday morning. It's 2 a.m., but still, it's not fair. So we're going to go ahead and head home with Naomi. And I'm thinking we are definitely tomorrow going to hang out with some people because I feel so bad for her. Um, so she's going to go ahead and go to sleep. And um, everybody's going to head home anyways. Trey's still talking to himself. Uh, Sadie's gonna come home and do some evil slumber, and Mariah's gonna come home and get on the top bunk. Alrighty, guys, so everybody's gonna head home now, and what we're gonna do tomorrow is Naomi's gonna spend the day working out. Uh, Trey and Sadie are gonna hang out, and I'm thinking Mariah might call up a boy and see what he's up to. I don't know. We will see. Alrighty, guys, so 
Ooh, hiccup. I will see you guys then. Oh, what a lovely morning here in Starlight Shores. The Reaper woman here for the third time to take some of our furniture. For the third time. <gasps> no, what are you taking? Don't take my decorations. Don't take them. Don't take my decorations. <gasps> she took my food fryer. Leave my house. Leave it. It's okay. It's okay. The food fryer is not a big deal. Honestly, if she thinks she got us then, she really didn't. We needed a new one anyways. It's okay. I keep forgetting to pay the bills. Um, thank goodness I don't do this in real life. That would be horrible. Um, but yeah, we forgot. Well, I forgot. So we're going to go ahead and give everybody... A brand new, amazing food fryer. Where is it? Where is it? I don't want Trey to see because I feel like he'll start talking to himself and he'll go a little crazy. Let's go ahead and put a new food fryer down for them. So hip hip hooray. Anyways, so Naomi's up bright and early. And she's going to go ahead and come over here and begin to work out. And let's see, Sadie is about to wake up and I guess she will come over here and eat some waffles and trey will be waking up shortly and mariah still has a little bit of time but i actually went ahead and uh off camera what is this warm weather is finally here conrad anderson wants to start the season off right with a huge house party if it was a pool party i would but i went ahead and placed the lucky simoleon casino and also the boardwalk that came with roaring heights oh yeah just thought I'd let you guys know that that's what we're probably going to do today while well, Sadie and Trey are probably going to head to the casino and hopefully try to make some money and Mariah might go on a date to the boardwalk or something. I think that'd be kind of fun for her, uh, but you know, it seems like she's going to be sleeping for a while, so maybe not. Um, Trey, go ahead and wake up, buddy. And use the toilet. It, why does that look so disgusting? Is it like the lighting? I can't... Okay, no, it just looks altogether disgusting. But he's going to do that and shower. Let's see, how close is she to... Quick burst. Oh, she's going to be fatigued before anything. That sucks. Push yourself, girl. She's going to work out till 5.30 p.m. That's five hours of working out. That's crazy. And Trey's going to shout. Look at this. That's so gross. Sadie, come over here and unclog this toilet. Come over here and unclog this toilet, Sadie. Right this, right this second. Alrighty. Conrad Anderson's party, which Mariah has been invited. That's what a Mariah will do today. Mariah, go ahead and wake up, girl. And she needs to shower, but maybe if she, he, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do, but we're going to head over there. And once we start to smell really bad, we'll leave. So it'll be a quick little trip. Blub, blub, blub. Um, Sadie, continue to do your thing. I hope Mariah, woo. I hope Mariah meets somebody like good there. I really think her and Javid would be kind of, kind of cute. Where is he? Javid, 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 Javid. I don't know. I've had my eyes on Javid for a while. Oh, and it's official. Mariah finally has a limo. She is a level 8. That's kind of a big deal. Um, mum, 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 mum. Let's keep going. And here we are at his house. Which, it does not have a pool. But it's a cute little house. I will give him that. I will give him that. It is a cute little house. Um, let's go ahead and... Can we bang on his door? I wish. Open up! Oh, look at her in her cute little formal outfit looking super cute. Who is all here? This seems like a really odd party. Old people. This guy who literally looks like he works on Wall Street because he just has a face that screams Wall Street to me, apparently. Um, oh, is this like the little nerd? Oh, it is! Oh, I love him. Look at him. He's He lives all by himself, and he has, like, little go-karts in his little nerd room. I just, oh, look at his little bed. I love it. They're, they're 
you're being a little mean. EA, this kid is not that bad. No, I, no, no way. All right, he's going to head, well, Mariah is going to head in here and do some fantasy. Um, what are those things called? I don't know, but I know PewDiePie has one. I think it's like the coolest thing ever. But it's like a simulator. <laughs> She's so funny. All right, let's go ahead and head home really, really quick. Oh, and these two are being all lovey-dovey. It's love day, and Trey's giving her kisses and loving up on her. A uh, little does Trey know that she's evil. Oh, and it's snowing out. Gross. Oh, it's springtime. It shouldn't be doing that. Let's go ahead and visit the Lucky Simoleon. Is that what it is? Lucky Simoleon Casino. Yes. Alrighty, and we actually got this gnome right here that I'm pretty sure came with Showtime. Let me look at it. Yes, it definitely did come with Showtime. It is Lounge Lizard, Lounge Lizard Magic Gnome. He is a, a little singing gnome. That one's kind of cute. I like him. Um, let's see, how close is Mariah? Not Mariah, Naomi. She's so close. Oh, I'm effing G. I can't do this. I'm so excited. She's so close. By the end of this part, she will. She will be. Alrighty, so here we are with Trey and Sadie at the Lucky Simoleon Casino. Let's go ahead and have them come over here and play some blackjack. We're going to do $100 buy-ins. Oh, oh, and Sadie's going to hack the table. Look at her. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a $1,000 buy-in, right? We hacked the table. Why not? And we're just going to count our cards. She's like, this is like the real determination test on who wears the pants in the relationship. Mariah's over there having an adventure. It had like this long description of what she's going through in there. Griggle. Mariah took two swipes at the tournament opponent. The crowd cheers at both knights circling each other, just looking for an opening in their opposite defense. Alrighty. Congratulations, Naomi has run far enough to complete a marathon runner skill challenge. Okay, don't care. I don't. Word around town that Mariah got something. Everybody got something repossessed, actually. Look how close. What is going on? Oh. It's playing some, uh, some slots. Is that what they're called? Oh, he's a winner. Look at him. Woohoo. This pump in the air. He's one happy boy. All right, so these two are over here, <laughs> still playing. Uh-oh, losing. Ever get the feeling that somebody is winning but you? All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Naomi's super close to leveling up. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Naomi. Um, and actually, why doesn't she go try for tips? I think that's not a bad idea. Maybe even at the party that Mariah is at. Okay, so here is Naomi literally barging in, barging in at the party. And I don't know why she has this long braid. I don't know. Obviously, she got a weave when I wasn't looking. And I also noticed that Trey came back from Simport. And I'm thinking I'm going to send him back at the end of this part. Um... But yeah, she's here, and we are going to have her go ahead and... Oh, we can't do it here. Perform contortion. We're, gonna, we're just going to sit here and, I mean, do it all. Because we really, really, really badly want to level up. Because once we level up, we'll get a genie, which will be in the next part. And then the part after that, it gets real. Um... 
Yeah. yeah. These two are still over there at the table. Ooh, look at her sexy little outfit. I didn't put her in that. Oh my god. Go out there. Go out there. <gasps> she's not fatigued yet. Oh my. She's not. I can't even speak. She's not even fatigued anymore. Go home, Naomi. Run, Naomi. Run. Run, Naomi. Run. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? That means we can head home and work out. But she's kind of tired. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. All right. This is what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to work out until she's completely exhausted. She's going to wake up and work out. And then, yeah, by the end of this part, hopefully we are going to to be on our way to getting the genie do you guys understand the excitement the hype oh i can't wait and we're also gonna have mariah head home and these two are still over there doing this oh she's losing now uh-oh they're both losing oh both of you go home just go home all right oh she's hungry She's actually going to come home and come here and serve some deep fried fish. All right. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and let her go to bed as well. These two are going to head home. Spent their love day fighting pretty much. Well, in a competition. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut back until the morning. And then in the morning, we are going to work out and then hopefully level up and then end this part Alrighty. already if you guys can see this her job experience is literally filled up but for some reason it's giving me trouble so we're gonna come down here and um we are going to fire baton and hopefully that gets us our promotion i don't know it should because we're literally we're on the bar. Come on. Do you see this? We are literally there. We are there. Give me my promotion. Come on, Naomi. You are so close. Do not give up. You see? <gasps> this is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Let's just go ahead and stare into Naomi's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful money-making eyes. Ah, That's right. That is so effing right. Naomi Bender has completed her lifetime wish and has gained plenty of lifetime happiness to spend. What will her next goal be? Finding love. Uh, Naomi Bender has reached the top level of the acrobat career. She can't forget all about all the sweat and toil it took to reach the top. Uh, what does this one say? Naomi Bender has twisted, turned, and contorted her body in ways most people will never attempt. She can now perform amazing feats that look amazingly painful. Um... Congratulations, Naomi has been conferred the new title of Master Aerob Acrobat. <laughs> this is the final one and I messed up. The Master Acrobat by the Starlight Shores Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. Fuck me. I am just so excited that I am literally, I cannot, I can't even, uh, I can't even. It is not easy to become a famous acrobat, but you've done it. Your feats of strength and daring are legendary, and your shows are standing rooms only. Congratulations! Naomi now makes 2,475 simoleons per week. So yeah, guys, it's official. Naomi has become the master acrobat of Starlight Shores. We can now get venues at the 
biggest stadiums in all of Bridgeport. I'm talking, you guys will see. Um, in the next part, we are going to get the genie. We are going to most likely move out. And I think I might send Trey on, you know, another tour. Let him do his thing so he can uh, continue to level up. Um, but yeah, guys, Mariah's next. She's only two away. But now Naomi has shown them all. While they were all falling in love and fighting, Naomi pushed through and worked on her career. And now she is the master acrobat of Starlight Shores. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next part. Bye, guys.